see here, like, <gasps> oh, chocolates! I love chocolates. So we have here, oh, 160 grams. Uh, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take, oh, what's this? Free 240 grams of chocolate? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna put this, this is 160 grams, and this is another, huh? How am I going to fit 240, maybe this? Um, ah, oh no, how do I do, how do I get my free chocolates? Ah! TV, KPM. A very good morning! You are now watching Did TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. Now, before I begin, I want to always remind you to follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19 to flatten the curve, such as wearing your face mask, wash your hands as often as possible using both water and soap, use hand sanitizer to also ensure that your hands are always clean. And when you have to go out from your home, yeah, ensure only you go out for important reasons, but also, when you're among other people, ensure that your distance between you and that person is at least one meter apart. And for today, we have a very special teacher with us today for our topic. But before that, let's introduce Mr. Ragu. Hi, Mr. Ragu. Hi, good morning, uh, Sean. From S uh, SK Bukit Bandaraya, Kuala Lumpur. How oh, are you feeling today? I was in my previous school and okay. now I am at SK Sri Angri. Oh, yes, yes, Actually, my mistake, my mistake there over there from SK3 Angrit Kuala Lumpur. But I before just we begin? shifted in July, ah, my new school. Okay, <laughs> hey. so since we're already talking about the topic, maybe you could introduce yourself uh, to our students who's watching. Sure, hi everyone, good morning. My name is Raghu Ramasamy. I'm teaching in SK3 Angrit and I am a maths teacher. Nice to meet you. All right, and before we continue, how about we also practice some SOPs? I've already used the hand sanitizer. Uh, over to you. Sure. Very, very important for us to uh, you know, follow the SOPs, ensure everyone is safe so that we can come out from this uh, pandemic as fast as possible. Exactly. All right. And now that we've already uh, got to know our teacher for today, how about we get to know our friends who are online with us? Let's yes. see who they are. Hi, everyone. There we go. Our bright and happy faces for this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'll be mentioning your name. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, and they are of course from SK Bukit Bandara. Yeah? Let's start off first with Jashwin. Hi and good morning to everyone. My name is Jashwin Krishnamurti from Sekolah Kebangsaan Bukit Bandaraya. You can call me Jashwin. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. And next we have Aris. Assalamualaikum and Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. My name is Arish Iskadullah bin Ismail Zuraini. You can call me Arish. I am from SK Bukit Bandaraya. Nice to meet you all. Alright, thank you Arish. Next we have Zia. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Muhammad Zia Arif bin Muhammad Zalani. I am from Sekolah Kebangsaan Bukit Bandaraya and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Next we have uh, Abhishek? Hi and good morning everyone. I'm Abhishek Kumar VM Kumaran. You can call me Abhishek and I'm from SK Bukit Bandaraya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Abhishek. Next we have uh, Shah Hazik. Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Hi, my name is Shahzi Adam bin Sharizan. I am from Sekolah Kebangsaan Bukit Bandaraya. Nice to meet all. Nice to meet you too. And last but not least, we have Noel. Hi everyone, my name is Noel Benedict Sagai Nadun. Very nice to meet you all. I am from SK Bukit Bandaraya. You can call me Noel Ben. Alright, thank you so much. And now we've got to uh, know our students. And again, now that we've gotten to know the teacher and also the students, I actually have a, a problem earlier. Yes, you know, Sean. Earlier, I saw this. You I were can get... struggling to yes. fix to, to get 240 grams of chocolate. Yes. Actually. So how do I actually solve okay. this problem? Okay. I want okay, my chocolates. Sean. Yes. I'm going to help you by using this bar model method. Bar okay. model method. Let's do it together. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Sean. Uh, you need 240 grams of chocolate yes, so that correct. can fit it inside the container. Okay. Yes. This is 240 grams of chocolate. Okay. Okay. So this, this is about the value okay. of 240 grams of chocolate. Now you can choose your chocolate. Okay. 
So um, I, 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 I put here, uh, let me just put this aside. Okay, so you I got 160 grams. 160 grams. So yeah. I represent this bar as 160 grams. Okay. Okay. All right. And you still can choose some more chocolates, Oh, John. yes, yes. So uh, I'm going to take um, here 50 grams. 50 grams, okay. Yes. Oh, you have some more here. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, 50 grams, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put another bar to represent 50 grams. Okay. All right. I still have a bit more, right? Yes. So maybe I'll take another 50 grams. Another 50 grams. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, another 50 grams. Oh, oh, it's more than enough. Oh, it's no. It's more than 240 grams, Sean. Oh, okay, okay. So only 240. Yeah, you so have to reselect again your chocolate. Okay, I'm still going to stick to this bar. Okay. So I still have 160 grams. So I maintain the 160 grams. Okay, so I'll take another 40 grams. 40 grams, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is to represent 40 grams. Okay. And okay. 40 grams over there. And maybe another, mm, I don't know, another 40 grams? Another 40 grams. Yeah. This is to represent another 40 grams. Okay. It's just nice, Sean. You have selected 240 grams of chocolate and you can bring it back. Oh, yes, really? For free, yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Mr. Rao. Okay, so this is how I help you to solve your problem yep. by using bar model method. Ah, so this is the bar model yes. method. So we'll be using this throughout yeah, the entire Yeah, I'm converting YouTube. the problem mm -hmm. into bar model and to solve the problem so that you can see the problem clearly in ah. visual form. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, wow, that's very, very interesting. So what else are we going to learn throughout our okay. exploration today? The learning objective for today is yep. to solve daily routine problems involving mm. measurement okay. using bar model method okay. and then create story based on the number sentence involving measurement. These two learning objectives for today. Oh, this is really, really exciting, especially because I got some free chocolates. But before we continue, how about I take a short break because I need some time to eat these chocolates. I'll be back to you <laughs> on Today TV KPM. KPM DD TV KPM <laughs> Oh, and okay. we are back on DD TV KPM together with me, Sean Seon and also Mr. Raghu for our topic for today, which is Mathematics uh, DLP. All right, so let's begin our exploration. Okay, before we uh, learn more details about this bar model, mm -hmm. we start to learn how to draw bar model okay. and how to represent the value for the bar. All right. Okay, let's start with this activity. Okay. This is a basic activity. Sean, uh, can I use the white Of course, no? yes. All right. Okay, let's say I have a value for mm -hmm. 1,500. Okay. Okay. So I need to draw a bar to represent 1,500. So I draw a bar. All right. Okay, to represent 1,500. And I'm going to draw another bar to represent, let's say, 750. 700. Okay, how big you think, Sean, will be the size of the bar? Hmm, so I would, I oh, uh, definitely smaller than 1,500. Uh, definitely 1, smaller than this, okay. Yep. So uh, it, this is 1,500. Mm -hmm. If you see 750, is half of 1,500. Correct. So yes. the size of the bar that you're supposed to draw mm -hmm. should be half of the first bar. Okay. All right. So I draw another bar, Yep. which is half. This is just estimate only. Not necessarily must be exactly that size. Okay. okay. We estimate the bar. All right. So and you can label it as 750. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to draw another bar for 100. Okay. Okay, 100. Right. Sure. Can you try, Sean? From this bar? bar? For 100? For one, okay, I'll come over there. Uh, maybe I'll use a different marker. Okay, okay thank you. All right. So here, that means from here... From I 750, have... I need another one more bar for 100. Okay, estimation, right? Estimate only. So estimate, I would estimate somewhere around here because this is 750. Yeah, exactly. So maybe this is about 100. Very good, Sean. Correct? You have estimated correctly. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. well done. All right. Okay, so this is how you estimate and draw a bar. Okay. Now we go for second activity. Okay, sure. 
Okay, just now we try big numbers, ah, uh, thousand five hundred. Okay. Uh, seven hundred fifty. Now we try slightly smaller number. All right. Which is hundred. Okay, fifty. Mm hmm. Twenty. And ten. Okay, kids at home, you can get papers and color pencil, and you can start drawing as well. Okay, you can draw a bar for one hundred, fifty, twenty, and ten. Okay, right. let me start with one hundred. Okay. I'll change different color. Okay, I estimate this bar for one hundred. All right. Okay. Kids at home, can we have a look at their... Yes, yes. Okay, so we can ask those who are also at home and also those of you who are online with us yes. on Google Me right now. You can, you can start your... drawing. Huh? Yes. You okay. Pen and your marker. Okay, I show you the second bar. Okay, second okay. bar is 50. All right. 50 is half of 100. So I draw another bar, which is half of the first bar. Correct. And I label it 50. Okay, 20 and 10. We have a look at our kids at home. All right. So they would have to draw all these yes, two bars exactly. first as an estimation. Two bars and another two bars to represent 20 and 10. All right. Okay, let's just give them some time. All also, right. for those of you watching at home, you can also give it a try. And exactly. we can also compare our answers and see yes. whether you got that right. All right, if you're done, you can actually show it to the screen in front of you. I think uh, Shahazik is also still doing. Okay, yeah, we have Zia. Zia. So he has. Okay. Okay, we got Zia, can you can you explain to us, Zia? So the biggest bar is representing one hundred. Okay. okay. The second smallest bar is fifty. All right. The the third bar is twenty, and the last bar is ten. Very good, Zia. Very good. Well you can done. see the difference. Very yeah. good. Well done, Zia. So twenty. This to represent 20. Okay. And 10 is half of 20. Yeah. You can draw a small bar and to represent it as 10. This is how you represent bar using the, uh, bar using the visual method okay. where you convert the problem into bar model. Okay. okay. Now let's go for the next practice. All right. And we're going to match the bar ah. according to the value. All right. Okay, sure. Can you help me with this? Okay, sure. Can All I right. stick this on the uh, on the board? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. So I assume I'm going to start with the uh, with the longest bar first, right? Uh, it's up to you, Sean. Okay. You can use any bar because the kid's going to match the bar. Ah. Yeah, okay, we're going okay. to challenge right. that. So then I'll start with this one. Okay, I just put the value here. Okay, it's not matched yet, right? Yeah, not matched yet. Not matched yet. Okay. So yes, and then maybe I'll play around with this one. So I'll just give a gap over here, and then I'll go for this. Okay, and this one over here. So we got four bars, all at di oh, sorry, all at different lengths. And uh, what Mr. Rago is sticking on the whiteboard on that end is different um, values. Value. Okay. value for the bars. Okay. Oh. All right. So what should we call them? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, who okay. should we ask? So can we see a raise of hands? Yes. Uh, we got Arish and Abhishek raising their hands. Who should we start Okay, Abhishek. Okay. The first bar represents what value, Abhishek? Uh, 75. 75. Okay, can we match it? Sure. Okay, shall I? Yeah, please. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay, so here, 75. So I'll just put it. Should I put yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Can, can, can. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, 75. Okay, the second bar. Who are going to try? Uh, we got Arish. Okay, Arish. The second bar represents 250. 250. 250. Okay. All right. Shall I? Yeah. Okay. Over here. 250. Okay. okay. And the third bar. Ah, uh, yes, Noel. The third bar represents 500. 500. 500. Okay. okay. All right, and the last bar. And the last bar, Jasmine. The fourth bar represents one hundred. One hundred. Okay, Mr. Ragu, is this correct? Okay, let's check together. Okay. Okay, this is the longest bar to mm -hmm. represent five hundred. Okay. Very good, good job. And this is half of this. Okay. Okay, represent two hundred fifty. Very good, well done. All right. 
Okay, and this is smaller than 250. Okay, represents 75. Very good, well done. Yeah. And this bar is slightly longer than this 75 mm -hmm. to represent 100. Well done, kids at home. Well done. Very Give good. yourself a round of applause. And for those of you who also tried at home, I think uh, this is um, if something that we should also um, try and, yes. and, you know, and, and find out and how we can actually solve this problem. Yes. How to estimate and draw a bar according to the value. Okay, can we go for the next activity? Yes, yes, All we right, can. We will take this out. Okay. Sean, can you help me, Sean, please? For the next one? Or yeah. should I take this out? Yeah, please? yeah, take it out. Okay. All right. So I'm just taking all of this out. Okay. Okay. Okay, the next activity that we're going to do is we're going to convert a number sentence in mathematics and we're going to convert it to bar model. Okay, let's see the first question. All right. 50 liter minus 30 liter. So how are we going to convert this number sentence into bar model? Okay, 50 liter, we draw a bar and we label it 50 liter. Okay? Mm -hmm. 30 liter. 30 liter should be smaller than 50 liter. So we draw another small bar All right. to represent 30 liter. So 50 minus 30. So when you minus, you have to find the gap for this. This is what you're going to find. What is the size of this? Okay, so this is how you convert this number sentence into visual types of bar models. All right. Okay, to find the answer for this, so you have to take 50 liter minus 30 liter mm -hmm. and you will get 20 liter. All right. So this is how you convert a number sentence to a bar model. Okay, this is very basic. Okay? All right. You got it, Chuck? Yes, got it, got it. All right. Maybe we can give an example to the students to try out at can, home. Can, can. I'll give you another question. All right. Okay. Kids at home, you can try this question. Six kilogram times with five. Six kilogram times with five. Can you start drawing? Six kilograms times, times with, with five. five. Okay, so uh, they would need to represent this question or the uh, solution. Oh, yes, we they have to draw the, the bar. Question into a bar model. Bar model. Okay. Yes. All right, I can see them already doing it. So, so six kilogram times with five means mm -hmm. you must have a similar same size of bar, mm -hmm. which each bar the value of each bar is six kilogram. And you must have five same types of bar. Okay. So this is what they have to draw. We, right. we, kids at home, so you can try. Eh? You can try draw. So if let's say, uh, while they're drawing, if I were to represent it in a form of chocolate, for example. Okay. So like here, if let's say, if the question was something else. All right. Um, three bars, three chocolate bars of 160 grams. Okay. Right? So that would mean they have to be equal of size. So this is an example here. Exactly. I have one. I have two. And you have three. I have three. So, so if I want to find the total, mm -hmm. total mass of all the chocolates, yep. so I can draw. You have one. 160 gram. Yep. And another 160 gram. Okay. And another 160 gram. Okay. So if you want to find the total, yep. you have to find the value for this. The whole thing. For the whole bar. Yeah, okay. this is what you're going to find. All right. Okay, what operation do you use, Sean, to find this? Um, I think there are two methods I can use. It's okay. either through multiplication, mul multiplication, okay. <laughs> or uh, addition. Okay, if multiplication, what times what? Uh, it would be 160 grams. 160 grams. Times three. Times three. Very good, Sean. Well yeah. done. If it's addition mix? It will be 160 grams. All right. Plus 160 grams. Plus 160 grams. Plus 160 grams. Plus another 160 yes. grams. Correct. Very good, Sean. Yes. As we know, mm -hmm. multiplication is a repeated addition. So, okay, when you... When you Take 160 times with 3, yep. it's equivalent to 160 gram plus 160 gram and plus another 160 gram. Okay, we let's check the... Yes, we should. Okay, so let's see the answers. Could you put it in front of the camera so that we can see all your answers? There we the go. The question was 6 kilogram times 5. Okay. Okay. So let's check. Wow. All right. 
Okay, you can see the, the answers are quite similar, but there are some of them who've, uh, who've uh, changed it a bit. You can see like Zia here has a question mark because he wants to represent what the question is yes. asking. But I think ultimately, um, all of them have answered correctly. Is that correct? Exactly, yeah, correct. Shall we choose one student for them to explain? Okay, Noel, Noel, can you explain, Noel? Yes, teacher. So, 6 kilograms times 5, we get 30 kilograms. You can also use the addition way because multiplication is a repeated addition. So, 6 kilograms times 5 equals to 30 kilograms. Very good, Noel. Well, well done, Noel. Well. Good now, job. Of course, round of applause for the rest of you. I think all you all right. have the So same this answer. is how you present a number sentence to bar model. Can we try one more question? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. Five. Fifteen meter. Okay. Divide with three. Oh. Now we go for division. Okay. Okay. All Fifteen right. meter. Mm -hmm. Divide with three. All right. Okay. So we have one big bar to represent fifteen. Okay. All right, one big bar to represent 15 meters. Now divide into three. Ha. Ha, divide into three. So when division, as we know, mm -hmm. you divide it into equal part. Ah, okay. Equal part, which mm -hmm. is three part. So I what see. I have to draw down here, mm -hmm. I have to break the length of this into three parts. Okay, I okay. think before you show them, let give, uh, let's, just, uh, let's give some time for our students who are can, online can, can, can. and also at home to answer the question. Sure. Let's see your answers and see whether you get it right. All right. And we'll find out after this short break. Stay tuned on the TV KPM. KPM DD TV KPM Oh, is that true? Oh, you are now watching DD TV KPM together with me, Sean Siren, and also Mr. Ragu. Now, just before the break, okay. we've actually given the students online as well as at home to answer a question where uh, we're giving them 15 meters, correct? Yes, 15, 15 meters, meters divide into 3. Divide into 3. Let's see whether they have completed their task. Can we see uh, your answers? Let's show it to the front of the camera so we're able to see your answers. All right. Wow. I love the handwriting. Okay. It's really good. Uh, maybe we can get uh, Shah Hazik uh, to explain how you got your answer. Hi, Shah Hazik. Uh, Shah Hazik, you can unmute your mic. Ah, uh, yes. For the 15 meter, mm -hmm. you divide it into three boxes, and you only need to find one, only one box. That's why I shaded the, the. The box, only the first one. Okay. And you'll get your answer 55, uh, 5 meter. So the boxes are all equally, uh, uh, equally are divided. equal As size, is yes. it? Yes. Very good, Shahzik. You all have right. done it correctly. Well okay, done. Okay, 15 divided with 3. This is how we represent 15 divided with 3 with bar models. All right. Thank you so much for your answers. Well done to all of you. Okay. And I actually uh, am very curious. From the start of the show until now, I'm wondering what are these for? Okay, today we're going to do roast milk. <gasps> Ooh, okay. me like it. yes. All right, before we do roast milk, mm -hmm. Sean, I would like to give you a task. Okay. What is the total milliliter of roast milk that we can do okay. with this plain water, okay. milk, and syrup? Oh. This um, is a problem actually in maths. Yes, yes, correct. Okay, correct, correct. we're going to solve this problem mm -hmm. in real life situation mm -hmm. by measuring the water and we solve it. Okay. All, All right. right, I think I need Sean to measure the water. Okay, okay. okay we start with the plain water, Sean. Plain water over All here. All right, Let me just you can measure this with this uh, measuring cylinder. Okay, so I'll All just right. pour this yes. in, yes? All right, so here we go. I'll pour for you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Here. All the way in. All of it? Yes. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. okay. <laughs> so can you measure? What okay. is the volume? So the scientific way of measuring, I have to put my eye ah, level same exactly. to the meniscus level. Science student, huh? <laughs> okay, so this is about 210 milliliters. 210 milliliters. Okay. Yeah. 
I will represent this bar as 210 milliliter. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, did I get that right? 210 milliliter. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's 220. 220. 220. Okay. My mistake. Okay. Human okay. error. No problem. All right. Okay, 200. And 20 milliliter, okay. Yep. How about the syrup? Syrup. Okay, okay. let's go for. Uh, or shall we go for the milk? Ah, yeah. You can go for the milk. Okay, first. go for the milk. I'll pour this in. All right. So here we go. Mmm. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Okay. So there we go. Okay. And um, again, the proper way to measure is to go here. All right. And um, I would say I would say this is about eighty-six milliliters. Eighty-six. Yes, is that right? Yeah. Eighty-six, huh? Eighty-six. All right. So this to represent eighty-six milliliter. All right. All right. Okay, and then the and syrup. Syrup. Okay, let me just shift this aside, and let me put this in here. I'm not sure if the camera is able to view this, but hopefully. Just pull this in. Yeah, oh. Mmm, smells good. I can really smell mm. the uh, the sweetness of the syrup. And here uh, we have um, 40, mm, 44, 44 milliliters. 44 milliliters. Yes. All right, so this blue bar to represent the syrup. Mm -hmm. 44 milliliter. All right. Okay, Sean, now we're going to find the total volume of rose milk that we're going to get. Mm, okay. Okay, what do you think, Sean? What operation do we need to use? Which part do we going to find? Uh, we, I think we have to find the entire length of the bar. Very good, sense, exactly. Yeah. We're going to find the whole entire length of the bar. Yes. So to find the whole bar, mm -hmm. can we use multiplication here, Sean? Uh, I think that would be difficult or probably it would. I, I don't think so, it would be okay. right. So I think to add this together, I think we should use uh, add, add, addition. Very good, or Sean. Addition. Together, we yeah. cannot use multiplication because mm -hmm. it's not the same size. Ah. Multiplication is a repeated addition. You add the same thing again and again oh, yeah. and again. That's right. So yeah. because of this is not the same size, so mm -hmm. you cannot use multiplication. You have to use addition. So we take 220 milliliter. Yes. We plus with 86 milliliter. All right. And we plus with 44 milliliter. Okay, kids at home, can you try to add this and let me know the answer? All right. Okay. So I also see there's another bigger. Okay, sure. I think you can put all the water all into one, yeah. To do rose milk okay, while so they count the total. Usually at home, yeah. I'll put the water first. All right. Okay, because we want to um, mix this all together. Okay. okay. Then I'll put the syrup in. All right. Okay. Mm, Ooh, it's yeah, yummy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the milk in here. Okay. Oh, oh that's the one right oh. there. Nice and pink. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if the camera can see it, but I'll try to measure it using my eyes. Uh, so we have about 300, close to 350. Okay, so almost. Almost there, right. almost there. But because also this is something to do with science where exactly. the size of the atom or the size of the yes. molecules itself will somehow fit with each other, uh, making it uh, about less than 250. Okay, but let's I think, see. The kids yes. Let's see if you have your answers. Have you had? Yes, uh, we have Abhishek with the first one raising okay. his hand. Let's check Abhishek's answer. Okay. All right, so... Oh, okay, Abhishek, have... Yes. Uh, so, 220 milliliter mm -hmm. uh, and 86 milliliter and 44 milliliter. I, I added and I got 350 milliliter. Very good, Abhishek. You get a correct answer. Well 350 done. milliliters of rose milk. Mm, Thank you, Abhishek. Yum, yum, yum. So this is how we represent a problem in real life situation, mm -hmm. two bar model, and get the answer according to the question. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay. And after this, this 350 ml will not have anything left because all this 350 ml will go into my stomach. Okay. <laughs> all right. Can we go to the next question? Yes, we okay, should. We have the question in slide. Okay. Okay. I'm just place this at the side. All right. So let's look at the slides for our next question.
Okay, so since a wall is coming, oh, there it is. Ah, there. Ah, we see it. Okay, so. Okay, measurement using bar model method. Okay. Uh, you can press down for the next slide. Okay, ah, all right. Okay, we have a problem here. Mm -hmm. Can kids at home, can you help us to read the problem? Okay, Noel, can you help me, Noel? Yes, teacher. Ali is planning to cook chicken rice for his. Excuse me, teacher, the slideshow. Ah, yeah, yes. can you see the slide? Yes, yes. Okay. He's planning to cook chicken rice for his family on National Day. Mm, okay. He, yes. He needs three kilograms of rice. He has three packets of them. Are these packets of rice enough? Does he need to buy more rice? Okay, thank you, Novel. We have the rice here. Three ah, packets of rice. There we go. So I have here. Okay. So this is exactly like the diagram. Oh, exactly. Sorry, okay, exactly like the slide. Yes. So we have one kilogram of rice here, I, yes. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a smaller one here, which is 500 grams. Okay. Okay. And then we have 800 grams over here. All right. Now we're going to check and see whether mm -hmm. the rice is enough or not. Okay. okay. What we need is we need three kilogram of rice okay this bar okay. is to represent three kilograms of rice right. okay the first packet is how many kilograms the big one yes uh this or uh, uh, okay i have a uh, ah, you have scale. a me measurement yeah okay, scale let me just there. place this aside here let me bring this to the center so everyone at home can okay. see it as well i'm not sure how whether it's on okay let's press the on button and okay, it's okay it is so here Let's just see whether we can get the value. Okay, so that's uh, 999. 999. Okay. okay, but I think it's one kilogram. One kilo, okay. So I replace this, represent this blue bar as one kilogram. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. How about the next packet? Next packet, the second biggest one that we have is about 800 grams 800 grams okay yes. i will represent this red bar mm -hmm. for 800 grams all right okay and the next one uh, let me just put this to this side here so i can see it the next one we have is 500 grams 500 grams so i will represent this red bar mm -hmm. uh, sorry yellow bar for 500 grams all right okay sean from this bar hmm. you can know that is it enough or not enough okay let me think there seems to be a gap yes so i believe it is not enough yes very good sean it's okay. not enough yes so when you look at the rice you mm -hmm. don't know to estimate how oh, whether it's enough or not enough yeah so when you convert the problem into graphic okay where, which is in bar model mm -hmm. so you can see clearly it's not enough you need this amount of rice to get ah. three kilograms of rice. Okay. Okay. So how to find the gap? How much more rice do I need? All right. So what operation do I need to use? Hmm. Shall we ask the students who are online? Yes. What operation do we need to solve this problem? Okay. Another problem is yep. all the units are in different unit. We need three kilogram of rice. Okay. And we have one kilogram. Yes. We have five hundred gram. Ah. And we have eight hundred gram. Oh. All these are in different, different units, okay? To make yourself easier to count, mm -hmm. it's better to change everything to the same unit. Okay. All okay, right. we go for the smaller unit. Okay, three kilograms, we're going to convert into gram. All right. One kilogram, how many grams? Can kids at home help me? Yes, we have uh, Jashwin. One kilogram equals to 1,000 gram. Thank you, Jashwin. So, three kilogram equivalents to? Jashwin? 3,000 grams. Very good. So we have 3,000 gram mm -hmm. and 1 kilogram is 1,000 gram. So we minus 1,000 gram. Okay. Okay. And we got 2,000. We need more 2,000 gram. Okay. And the second packet is 500 gram. So we minus another 500 gram. Mm -hmm. And we need another 1,500 gram. And the third packet is 800 gram. So we minus 800 gram. Okay. And how much more rice that we need? Ah, so this is the balanced rice yes, that we need to complete. Yes, the balance that we need. Yes, okay. Arish, can you help me, Arish? Yes, teacher. How much more rice do yes, I need? 700 more grams. 
700 grams. Very good, Aris. Thank you very much. Well done. So you need another 700 grams. So this is how you convert a problem mm -hmm. to bar model and solve the problem according to the question needs. Yeah, so that means that missing bar over there, the one that you highlighted, yes. is supposed to be 700 grams. Correct? 700 grams, exactly. Wow, okay. So I think uh, this is something that we can use in our daily lives. For example, when we're making the rose... Rose uh, milk. Rose milk uh, drink. We also have um, the bag of rice. I think even, for example, if you want to get uh, potatoes at home, and exactly. let's say uh, mom says that we need, uh, I don't know, five kilograms of potato to make mashed potato. Oh. We only have 400, uh, 400 grams. So this is where we can visually represent exactly. the problem to solve it. I think it's very, very interesting. But after this, we have more things to do. Something to do with spinning the wheel. If you want to find out, make sure you stay tuned. You can take a short break and be back to you on Didit TV KPM. Didit TV KPM. Didit TV KPM. What? We don't have time? Oh, oh. Uh, we are now watching Did it TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also Mr. Ragu. Now, uh, before we end our exploration, we have one more activity to, uh, activity to do. What is that? Okay, now we're going to challenge the kids' hot level. Do you know oh. what is hot? Uh, hot, hot. Not that hot, huh? Oh, okay, no. Hot is higher order thinking skill. Oh, okay, ah, okay. We're going to challenge the kid with higher order thinking ki thinking skills questions. All right. Okay, what they're going to do is, mm -hmm. uh, Sean, I want you to help me to spin the wheel Aha, okay. and get three numbers for them. Okay. With that three numbers, mm -hmm. the kids have to create a problem. Oh. A math mathematical problem. All right. All right? Okay. Okay, let's so start. Spinning. Okay, so here we go. First number is look, 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 look. Uh, number four. Four. Okay, number the four. first number is four. Okay, next one. Uh, the next number is eight. Eight. The second number is eight. Okay, and the last one, the final number. I feel like I'm in a game show right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's number eight again. Eight again. Again. Okay, oh, shall we do so another number? Is that okay? No, okay, okay. Okay, so we have four. We challenge them. them. Okay. We challenge them. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so you got four, eight, and another eight. All right. Okay, so we give them some time to create a problem with these numbers. Okay, great. Okay, great, actually, great. I order thinking questions, Sean. Mm -hmm. Kids will be having a lot of problems to solve these kind of questions. Okay. Because with the the problems are in words. Yes. So sometimes when they read two times, three times, four times, they can't understand the problem. Yes. So when you convert the problem into bar model, All right. so they can see the problem clearly mm -hmm. and answer according to the question needs. Ah. This is where the bar model helps them. All right. Like certain questions you read five times, ten times also, you cannot mm -hmm. understand the question. Yeah. Once you start draw the problem, mm -hmm. okay, you start to label everything, you draw everything, then you can see the problem clearly. Ah, so yes. this is the intention of this bar model method. Oh, wow, yeah. It seems yeah, it very, really very helps very the useful. kids actually. All right. Let's see whether our kids are done with your answers. If you're okay, done, just raise your hand. If you're done, just show me your light hand. Okay, we have... Oh, just win. Well, super fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you present your problem to us? Yes. Okay. Achong drink four liter of water in a week. Mutu drink eight liter of water in a week. And Ali drink eight liter of water in a week. What is the total volume of water did Achong, Mutu and Ali drink? Very good. Wow. It's a problem actually. Yes. Wow. To find it's the total amazing. volume of water that they drink. Yeah. Very good. Jasmine, very good. Can you draw it in bar model and to can you solve the problem? I already draw. I you already, already draw. draw. So fast. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, can we check together? Sure. All right. So okay. as you can see there's four liter four in one liter, bar, eight liter eight in one liter bar. and another eight liter. Very good, Jasmine. The eight liter and eight liter is same size. Yes. Very good. Your estimation is very good. Okay, what is the total volume of water they drink? 20 liter in a week. 20 liter. 20 liter in a week. Very good. 20, 20 liter is, is the correct answer. Well done. Congrats. Okay, can we try one more round? I think we can try. Uh, oh, we yeah, back. we can just do a quick one. Okay, All right. a quick one. Eh? One a quick more round. Huh? Okay. Let's see. The number is number four. Number four. Okay. okay. All right. Seems to be the uh, favorite number for today, yeah? 
Okay. We got number... Socket number 10. Oh, no. number, okay. nine. Nine. number 9. Number 9. Okay. okay. 4, 9. Okay. And one more number. One more number. Let's see. Okay. Oh, stop at number 15. So 15. There's arrows here. Okay, let me just... Oh, there we go. 15, huh? 15. All right. So, 4, 9, and 15. All right. So, we have 4, 9, and 15. I think so it's if also a kid, sir, they be able to create a problem means mm -hmm. uh, their level of thinking is very high. They 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 able to invent something. Yes, correct. So inventing is very high uh, level of eye order thinking actually. That's true. That's true. Because so, they already understand the concept, exactly. therefore they can create questions yes, from, the, yes, from yes, the, yes. the situation itself. Exactly. All right. So let's see if any one of you have already completed your question or oh, sorry your problem. Your problem. From the uh, numbers that are given. The number that we. We have is 4, mm -hmm. 9, and 15. Okay. Let's see how they relate this number with the topic today measurement and how they draw the bar model to represent their problem. Right. Okay. Okay, looks like Noel. Noel, are you done yet? No, not yet. Okay. Seems to be like a race right now. Yes. But I think it's also, uh, 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 like you mentioned, what, very, very what useful. What do you think about this bar model, Sean? I think it's very, very useful. I've never, uh, I've, I, I don't recall learning this in school before, but I would say that it's, for example, uh, if you can't understand the question in words, yes. sometimes it's good for you to, to visualize it and exactly. see it. And it can be applied in, in a different sense as well yes. when it comes to our daily problems. For example, okay. if you want to know how many more minutes are there for each task, I have a certain number of exactly. minutes, Exactly, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else that's done yet? You can just raise your hand straight away. Or raise your answer. The numbers are 4, 9 and 15, huh? Yeah. Uh, the, maybe the problem that I can come up from okay. uh, for so this. You can try for example, right. I, um, um, in one day I have to wipe the table and that takes four minutes. Four I minutes, have to okay. drink a glass of water and that will take nine minutes. All right. And I have to brush my teeth and that will take 15 minutes. Very long to brush your teeth, okay. but that's just an example. <laughs> so how much of time have I used? I can plus or add four, nine and 15 and I will get 20. Bravo! Yeah, Congrats, yeah. Sean. Congrats. Yeah. 28 minutes in total Very to complete good. the three tasks. Sean able to create a problem with yeah. these numbers. Very good, Yay. Sean. Okay, anyone else? Final call? I think while waiting for the students to complete it, yeah. maybe you can also give ah, us a... Jaswin is ready. Oh, yes, Jaswin. Again, wow. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Adam bought 4 kg of chicken. Okay. Okay. Siti bought 9 kg of chicken. Alright. Okay. And Duzamil bought 15 kg of chicken. What is the total mass of kg of chicken did, Ad did Adam, Siti and Muzamil bought? Okay, the total mass of the chicken that they bought. Very good. Okay. 28 kilos and I see that the, the, uh, the bar model yes. is done very well. Well done, Jashwin. Congrats. Yes, wait. And for those of you, the rest of you, if you have completed, just show it in front. You don't okay, need to explain. Okay, Want to see it there? Okay, if you're not complete, don't worry. Okay, we got I, Irish showing it there. Well done. Okay, Irish have some different types of work. Can, can Irish, can you share your problem? Irish? Yes, teacher. Adam has 15 pencils. He can you show your bar? to his brother. Oh, okay, yes, sure. So? Okay. Has 15 pencils. He gave nine pencils to his brother. Okay. He gave another four pencils to his classmate. How many pencils does Adam have left? Okay. Oh, so All he right. did it in a different way. Different so way of problems. He, yeah. he gave a, a total he number. He had 15 and then, pencils mm -hmm. and he gave four pencils to somebody else yeah. and nine, nine pencils to another person. And what are the number of pencils left? Yes. Good, 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 good try. All right, well done, well everyone. Done, Arish. Uh, but before we end, how about we get a very short summary from uh, Mr. Ragu? Can, can, our, okay. Our lesson today. So today we have learned bar model method to solve problem solving. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, bar model method, when we convert a problem to visual type, we can see the problem more clearly and we can answer the questions according to the question need. That is the most important thing. Yes. So that's the main intention of uh, my lesson today mm -hmm. to teach you how to convert a problem or a number sentence in maths to bar model. 
Yes, thank right. you so much, Mr. Raghu, and also Welcome. to our students who are online right now. Okay, okay I have Sean, about I'm going to give you me. a task. Okay. As a maths teacher, okay. I want you to divide the cake equally mm -hmm. into eight parts. Eight parts? Yes. Okay, so eight parts would mean I would need to separate... Oh, using the bar method, right? Yes. Okay, can I have that? All okay. right, sure. So, I'll, I'll, should I cut it? Can, can, can. Okay, all right. So, I'm going to cut it first into half because I want it to be equal. Okay. Oh, such a lovely cake. Yes, I'm fraction, so you divide it into equal parts. Very okay. good. So, maybe I can go it this way as well. Equal all right. on this end. Okay, so now I have four. Okay, I have four parts. So, if I want to divide it further. Okay, so I've already cut it here. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to cut here another half to make each side four and another four. All right. And that would mean I have separated it equally. Very good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Very now, good, Sean. Well done. Me you and my friends can enjoy this into eight equal cake. parts. Yes. All right. Thanks again, Mr. Raghu, for this wonderful surprise. Welcome. And for those of you watching, hopefully this has been beneficial to you. We're going to, take, uh, we're going to end the show right now so that I can eat my cake. And we'll see you in the next, uh, next episode on the TV KPM. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. DDTV KPM.